Hello everyone, Southpaw here here with another Fimble update. Today we have some new additions to the cat. A lot of the things I said I was working on in the last video. Here you can see we have the ability to get up off the ground in different directions. You have the ability to stand up in place, to roll forward, or to roll backwards. And we also have the ability to get up fast, or tech. And you can do the same in all the directions as well. Of course the way the cat is just sort of spontaneously falling down is just a, a debug feature that I added. So you can see that you can react pretty much immediately after the tech, and it's also notable that you're totally invincible during the rolls as well. And you're invulnerable while you're on the ground for a short time as well, but you become vulnerable if you don't make a move quickly enough. And now you can see our cat can be defeated as well, and he can also be grabbed, as our hair will show right here. He can be grabbed and thrown in all the same ways. So, with all this in place, the cat pretty much now meets the minimum requirements of what I would consider to be a playable character. So, there's still a lot of moves left to make for him, but he has all of the core components. So, I intend to add him to the next build and do a lot of testing, where now we will be able to play full games with two different types of characters on each side. And we'll see how this starts to work out. So you might have noticed that I have in fact been updating my blog on a weekly basis, like I said that I would, but I have not necessarily been making a new video to go along with it every week. And I think that's probably the way that I'm going to continue. Uh, a lot of the times the updates are so small that even making a small video would probably be excessive. So I'll still continue to make a message about it, but probably a new video every, uh, every two or three weeks I would think is probably going to happen. And like I've said before, apparently I'm pretty terrible at estimating how long it's going to take to do various things. It always seems to take longer than I thought, so I figure I should probably stop making promises on how fast I think I'm going to do something. Um, from now on, I'm pretty much just going to say what I'm working on next, I'm not going to say how long it's going to take. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not working diligently, I definitely am trying. It's just that I want to prevent putting my foot in my mouth any more than I already do. So that being said, I still don't have the projectiles colliding with anything yet. That's going to be something to work on in the coming week. And again, it's not like that's going to be hard or time consuming. I just have not done it yet. And from there, I'm going to be working on more of the cat's moves and I'm going to be putting him on the map mode and actually trying him out in some actual games. And there's some new upcoming features for the map mode too that the cat is going to be front and center with. So that's it for now. Thank you again for following Fimblewitter. I hope to see you again soon.